Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, how are you all? I know you're all not going to jump on at the same time, so I'm going to wait a few minutes for you to slowly make your way onto Facebook. And when you get on, I'd love for you to jump on and say hello to me and tell me who is on and who is watching and what's going on for you. All right, we'll just wait another minute or two as people are popping in. Being a Friday afternoon, I'm not sure how many of you guys will actually be on here, but nevertheless, we are going to do this anyway. So, all right, here we go. Here they come. Hello, Erin. How are you? My favorite little Excel spreadsheet. What would it would call you? A spreadsheet nerd like me? I love spreadsheets. Um, okay, so we've got one on. So, what I might do, because I don't want everyone waiting around. Hello, Karen. How are you? Is I might get started. Uh, so if you notice, I am looking like this from side to side, not because I have some sort of crazy disease, but I have a few devices in front of me. So I have learned this amazing trick from my business coach, Francesca Moy, um, from the Mafia, and I've joined up a, a one-year coaching program with her, and she's teaching us all the tips of the tray, like the, tip, the tips of the yeah, the, of the trade and all the little things that she does behind the scenes that makes her life easier and that gets to more people. So what she's taught us, and this is my first time, so thank you for joining me, is if you have a couple of device running, uh, devices running, you can get to more people. So in front of me over this way, I have my laptop, which is connected to my business page. I have my virtual assistant in the Philippines. Um, she is, Krizel, she is over there and she's making a watch party. I'm not even sure what that means, people, but apparently that's going to push it over to my personal page. And I also, on my phone over this way, is I have my group, my Soul Junkies Connect. So my business page is Michelle Ann Soul Healer. So if you're not on that, you guys, get, you can jump across onto Michelle Ann Soul Healer is my business page. And for those watching on my business page or my personal page, if you're not on my group yet, it's called Soul Junkies Connect. It's an amazing interactive group where everybody jumps on and we chat and we talk about all sorts of spiritual stuff and woo-woo things and all sorts. So Soul Junkies Connect, and that's the people on the phone, which are over here. So who do we have on? Zalika, hello, Karen, hello, hello. So we're going to get started because I don't want to be on here for much longer than half an hour because I know you're all busy people and you want to move on with your lives. But firstly, I want to tell you, because this is my first time, I am super duper nervous. Now, I do these live videos, as you see on my Facebook pages, all the time. So I'm like, why should I be nervous? But this is a little different because this isn't just me rabbiting on about my life and my kids and stuff. I'm actually giving you guys some information. Now, I know on my live videos, I do give lots of information generally, but I like to do it in my own little crazy way where I start talking about cacao and then I end up getting sidetracked about losing my child at school and then and I know this keeps it interesting so we don't get bored but I thought it would be really nice but once a week on a Friday same time same channel every Friday is to get on here and actually give you something a little bit more formal um, I'm not going to say professional because you never professional to me is, is a, a word that I throw around because yeah that's what I think about professional <laughs> Because if someone's too professional, I don't know about you, but I don't connect with them, I don't warm to them, and I don't feel um, I don't feel bonded with someone that's super duper professional, that's always got their shit together, that has everything looking perfect, has beautiful branding nonstop, and you look at their Facebook page and they're like just got beautiful photos and quotes, and it, it all looks very very pretty. But I don't know about you, but I don't actually feel like really connected to the person. So I feel what I'm about, and I hope you guys get this feeling when you watch me and on my live videos, oh, we've got a frozen one of it, um, that you get a little bit more warmth from me and you get to see a little bit about me and who I am. And along the way, you learn a little bit of stuff as well. That's what my hope for today is. So now, if everybody that is watching um, can comment if everything's okay, you can see me, you can hear me, no one's telling me you can't, so I'm going to go with the fact that that is all good to go. Um, right, so we'll get... Um, started. So what I wanted to jump on today was to talk about vibration. Now, I was starting to get caught up in, oh my God, this is the webinar and oh my God, it's got to be all structured and I've got to have a presentation, but I realised that it doesn't actually have to be exactly like that. Hello, my beautiful assistant, Casey, over there in the Philippines. The poor girl's gone to get, had to go get an urgent dentist appointment and she's trying to get on a laptop while she's in the waiting room for me and she's um, tapping away trying to get all my stuff sorted. Everything's perfect. Thank you. 
So yeah, um, I wanted to talk about vibration. And yeah, I was getting all structured and I thought, oh, I'm going to have a PowerPoint. But there's two things I decided not to have a PowerPoint was one, who, who got the time for a bloody PowerPoint these days? Not me, that's for sure. I'm a busy woman. Uh, actually, I'm not busy. I'm full. Or as my sister decided yesterday, that maybe we perhaps shouldn't even be full because full means that you're actually so full there's nothing else left to um, add in. So we're, what was it, Diane said, filling up. So because I'm full, nearly full, uh, ain't nobody got time for a PowerPoint. And I might do one in the future, but it's not for me sustainable. So I wanted to jump on here and just randomly chat to you guys, make it really casual so that you learn something, but it's not like me going, eh, 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 and trying to teach you because I don't learn by someone lecturing me and telling me what to do. I learn by feeling someone's energy, by hearing their stories, by um, allowing um, them to just share a bit of their life. So what I thought instead of having a structured structured thing was I thought, okay, so what do I do to increase my vibration? And I, to be perfectly honest, I feel like a bit silly sitting on here telling you this stuff because I believe that everyone knows this and I don't know why I'm telling you. But in saying that, just because you know this stuff doesn't mean, one, you practice it, and two, maybe you don't really believe it or you've heard it, but you haven't actually put it into practice. So I just got back from Tony Robbins, if you haven't heard me raving on about Tony Robbins. And the reason I wasn't going to do these webinars was because I was a bit scared that you guys knew all this already. But I just paid, paid, came back from Tony Robbins and paid, well, my sister paid a lot of money. I got a free ticket, but he charges a lot of money. And I got back from Tony Robbins on top of the world. And what dawned on me was Tony Robbins didn't actually teach me anything I didn't know. Honestly, he's an absolute genius. He's a guru of all gurus. But did he teach me something that I didn't physically already know in my head? No. Still love you, Tony Robbins. And I'm going to be the same, but I'm going to be Michelle Ann Soul Healer, not Tony Robbins. But, yeah, that's why um, I'm going to tell you what I'm about to tell you, but I'm going to tell you in a way that uh, shows you how I'm using it in my life so that you guys can perhaps put a little bit of this into your life. And I'm hoping that I might inspire you even if to do one or two small things to start changing your life little by little. Because people always say to me, Michelle, how do you always have so much energy? You're always energetic. You always seem happy just quietly. I'm not happy. Just ask my partner. I can be a very cranky biatch at times and my kids. Nobody's perfectly happy all the time. But generally, yes, I feel happy and I feel energised most of the time. And what I realised is the main reason I feel happy and energised is because I'm doing all these things to increase my vibration. So anyone that's not on here to, that's on here today and doesn't actually know what vibration is, um, let me know. If there's anyone, hello Chantel, hello Leanne, oh, Leanne, sorry. Yeah, if anyone doesn't know what vibration is, feel free to ask the question, but I'm going to answer it anyway because the word vibration is thrown around quite uh, flippantly at times and I don't think a lot of people actually know what they mean when they say Let's increase your vibration. So, look, there is a scientific explanation to this, and I have a science degree, but I'm not going to go and sit here and ex try and explain to you on a scientific basis what vibration means. But I do know that vibration is a way of being. Vibration is an energy. It's a state. It's a way that you feel. Have you ever walked in the room where you have someone and you think, they just drained the absolute living shit out of me? Or you go around and you have coffee with one of your friends and you bounce out of that room like you have got all the energy in the world because that person actually gave you energy. Well, not gave you energy, but they were such that a high vibration that you've walked in with a certain vibration and you've walked out of that room with a different vibration because what it is scientifically is that we are all energy. We are all made up of physical matter in this universe. Plants, where's my plant over there? My camera's back to front. Plants, animals, humans, brick walls, everything is made of a vibration. That's why we are physically here. And everything has a different vibration. So when you're around someone that is a low vibration, and you've heard it, the low vibe people, you know the people that I'm talking about, those low, low vibe ones are the ones that uh, drag you down because they're vibrating at a much lower level than you are. And then you've got the high vibers. I like to call myself a high vibe. I put your hand up in here if you're a high viber. You know if you're a high viber or not. And if you're not a high viber, that's all good too because that's what we're here today is to learn a few little tips to actually just to slowly start increasing your vibration so that you can start affecting people in this world. And to me, the reason I like to keep my vibration really, really high is that I can start to, one, because you know how people are affected by your, by your vibration 
and you affect one person and they walk away feeling good, they then um, raise their vibration, they go to the next person and raise their vibration and that is called conscious awakening. It's basically increasing the vibration of this world so that we all live in a happier place. Who's up, heads up for that? Whoop, whoop. Hey, Shell Pollock, how are you? So yeah, vibration is basically a state of being. It's an energy. It's scientifically proven that everything's vibrating like it's at a certain level. So how do you increase your vibration? So I had a think today uh, about myself, what I did today, and how I, um, how I, what I, what I, what have I done today that I just did normally that you guys might learn from? So I did write a little list because I get, I, I have a very bad tendency to get off track on my live videos. You all know that. Start talking about one thing and end up up the garden path. So I did write a quick list so I didn't get off track. So the first one I want to talk about is physical state. So I can hear the groans from here. Oh, she's going to tell me to bloody exercise. You know what? I sort of am, but I sort of not. I'm just telling you to move, people. I'm not telling you to get out in the gym and do squats um, with the CrossFitters. I'm not telling you that you have to do 50 burpees every morning. I'm telling you to get out of bed and move your ass. Move. That's all. Just move. Whether it be moving like this, whether it be dancing, whether it be doing some stretches, whether it be yoga, whether it be going for a walk. Just move your body because physically, how do you feel when you sit there like this? Everyone try it now at home if you want to. Everyone, I want you to slump your shoulders, stick your lip out, even if you're at work and you're trying to watch this surreptitiously. Is that a word? Yeah. Put your shoulders down, put your lips down and see how you feel. I know you feel like shit because physically you are not at a vibrational level that is making you feel good. Now change that state, pull your shoulders back, stick your boobs out if you're a female, if not, stick your pecs out, lift your chin up, and now, I'm not going to do it because I'm sitting down, or you can, start moving, just move in your seat, punch the air, jump around, and you'll feel your blood moving. And when your blood starts moving around your body, you start vibrating at a higher level. So anyone that's done any form of exercise will know the feeling after you exercise is that you can actually feel the vibration in your body. You go, oh, I'm buzzing. Who's heard the term, I'm buzzing? That is a term that's telling you that you're increasing your vibration because buzzing is a term that means vibrating, doesn't it, really? When you think about the word buzzing, I'm buzzing, man. So vibrating is buzzing. So when you're vibrating at a higher level, you're buzzing. So how, I don't know of anyone that's ever done some exercise and finished and gone, well, yeah, I wish I didn't do that. That's just not a thing. You're up, you've moved, and you're exercised. So I just say get out there, do something that makes you feel good physically. When you're walking around today, instead of slumping down, even if you feel crappy, instead of slumping down with your chin down and saying, oh, woe is me, this day is crap, lift your shoulders back, lift your chin up and say, no, world, that's, I'm going to take you, take you on today and I'm feeling good. So try that for me while you're sitting there. What else have I got here? So physical state. So music is a big one. Uh, I'm not going to pick on anybody's music taste here. However, I get one very one feeling when I listen to like high vibration music like uh, lift me up music I don't know this is me personally and when I hear heavy metal I get a whole nother feeling like I don't feel good when I listen to heavy metal I don't know it, maybe it's just my personal vibration but I don't like it it feels really it's called heavy metal but it feels really not nice to me so the type of music that you listen to may very well or not may it will very well affect your vibration so uh, if you're looking for a high vibration state for your day, I'd put on some music that you feel good uh, to dance to, to jump around to, to sing to, to make you feel good. Um, just before I got on here, I put some high vibration frequency music on. There's actually music out there that has a particular frequency that increases your vibration. So it's called frequency or hertz music. So if you go onto Spotify or onto YouTube, uh, probably, uh, probably YouTube more than Spotify, but go into YouTube, put in frequency music or hertz music, there's particular frequencies that will do certain things and affect certain levels of your chakras, uh, affect your mood, affect your state. So before I got on here today, uh, although I was a little bit nervous, I didn't sit around and mope and feel sick about the whole thing. I, I jumped around like this to get my blood moving. I put some high vibration uh, frequency music on. I did a 10 minute meditation. So meditation is another way to increase your vibration. Because what meditation does is it takes your scattered brain and your scattered thoughts 
and it just brings it all back together. So your vibration just, I don't know, I can only explain it as it's, uh, it's Michelle Pollitt, like a cake. It's bringing all the ingredients back together and stirring it up into a nice little cake mix instead of, and Michelle, this wasn't on my plan to talk about, like a cake. You're not going to get a beautiful cake if all the ingredients are spread out all over your kitchen. I just made that up as I went along. That was pretty cool. If your eggs are on one end of your kitchen and your milk's on the floor and your, and your flour, shouldn't be eating flour anyway, gluten-free. If your gluten-free flour's um, on top of the kitchen bench and your vanilla's still in the cupboard, are you going to get a beautiful, nice, risen cake? No, you're going to get no cake. So think about it like that. So when your energy is scattered and all over the place, you're not going to be at a high vibration. You're not going to be a beautiful, risen cake. Dan Clark, 70s disco, yeah. Who's your woman that you always talk to me about? I know Dan's got very old taste in music, so she's always telling me about these old bloody people that I should know about back in the ABBA day, is that correct? <laughs> so, yeah, everyone's got a different music taste, and it doesn't matter what your music taste is. However, it's got to make you feel good. So when I'm sitting out here, and Mark loves his heavy metal. I, I freaking hate heavy metal. So I'm out here, having, I, and I'll talk about food in a second. Alcohol and vibration aren't a real good mix, but I also believe in balance. So I do have a wine of an afternoon every now and again. I'll sit out the front because it's part of my day. So Mark's, I'm out having a glass of wine. Sun is setting. I'm out in nature. He's got this bloody heavy metal music blaring. And I'm like, it just doesn't make me feel good. I don't like it. And I have to say, can we turn the heavy metal off? I always have a little bit of a about it. But it messes with my vibration. But if it's probably making his vibration high because he loves his heavy metal. So what I'll say is just be aware of what's going on around you and be aware how things are making you feel. The news is another thing. The news, oh, God bless the news. I don't know. I like the news because I like to know what's going on in the world. But have you ever watched the news and taken note of what is actually being said? All, when you actually watch the news and listen, they're talking about murders. They're talking about dead children, drowned children people getting killed in car accidents, people getting murdered, people getting stabbed, uh, armed robberies, um, droughts. They're talking about war. They're talking about terrorism. It's terrible, 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 terrible. And I am still trying to wean myself off the news because, I don't know, it's a habit of mine of the afternoon to put the news on while I'm getting dinner ready. But it's really, really bad for you to listen to the news. Honestly, it, it's for your vibration. If you're trying to increase your vibration, it's not a good thing to do is listen to the news. So I have lately been telling the kids to either turn it off, turn it right down. Diane doesn't even watch the news. She, the half of the world could be blowing up and Diane wouldn't have a clue. She doesn't let her kids watch the news. So all hats to her. I'm not actually at that, that level yet, but I am heading that way because it is really bad. And someone else mentioned something in particular too when you're eating your food. So everybody has the news on and they're sitting there eating their dinner. So what someone described to me the other day, and I thought it was a really, really good way of explaining things, was you're listening to all this bad sort of vibrational information and if everything's energy, energy is being transferred and then you're sitting there putting food, which is energy, into your mouth. So you are literally eating bad vibrations. I know that sounds a little bit ex extreme for some of you, but it's when you think about it like that, it's like another idea to maybe turn the TV off or have some nice spiritual music or, or some meditative music when you have dinner, perhaps. I don't know. So, hello, Colleen. Um, so, I've talked about exercise, meditation, music. So, gratitude and, and, and the way we think is my next one on my list. The reason this is next on my list is because it's one of the first things I do when I get up in the morning. So, every morning, uh, yeah, Karen doesn't watch the negative news. Good idea. Is anyone on here? Computers. Next week, I'm going to have three devices, so I'm going to really push myself out of my comfort zone. I don't think anyone's on my business page. You must. Oh, there's two people on my business page. If you're on my business page, say hello. Um, where do we get up to? Gratitude and thoughts. So, just keep an eye on the time because I do rabbit along very quickly. Oh, it's 20 minutes already. Um, gratitude. So, yeah, every morning when I get up, I do a thing called Tony Robbins Priming. You don't have to actually do Tony Robbins Priming, but if you do type that into YouTube, it will give you an idea of what it is, and then you can make it your own. Basically, he takes all these ideas of increasing your vibration and he turns it into a 10 or 15 minute little uh, ritual that you can do every single day to increase your vibration and start your day off on purpose. So he starts off with this business, air pumping, so breathing through your nose, like that. So basically what he's doing is he's using physicality, which is what I mentioned at the start of the, the webinar, physicality of moving your arms 
pumping your blood is using breath and it's increasing your vibration. And then he goes into gratitude. So you have to think of three things that you're grateful for. And what he's doing there is taking you into state of gratitude is the state of gratitude and the state of abundance is such, such a high vibration that you can't actually have state of anger and state of fear in the same uh, room, I suppose you'd say. So if you're vibrating at the vibration of uh, abundance and gratitude, you physically, it's impossible to also vibrate at the vibration of anger and fear, which are two of our biggest um, bad vibration feelings. Fear, anger, and not being good enough. So if you replace those vibrations of fear, anger, and not being good enough, and replace them with things of gratitude and feeling full and being abundant, they can't live together, basically. They can't. So when you're in that state of, of feeling so amazing, you can't be fearful. You can't be feeling not worthy because you are literally surrounding yourself in love and gratitude. So you put your hand on your heart. You physically feel your heart beating. You feel grateful for the fact that you have a heart, that you are alive, that your blood is pumping, that it's doing this all by itself. You feel it. You feel grateful for it. And then you think of three things that you're completely grateful. And you take yourself to back to a time where you were... Um, where you were in that gratitude moment. So you can take yourself back to how you see it, how you feel it, how it feels in your body, how it feels in your emotions, and you just sit with it for a minute each. And it feels amazing. So it can be your child, your children, your fur babies. It can be your partner. It can be just sitting in the sun. It can be out in the beautiful nature and the wind. It might be that you love your job. It could be anything. So it just lifts, lifts your vibration and takes you to that state of well-being. And after the gratitude, he then does um, a, a visualization method. So things like, this is what I've written down, is thought. So we all have heard basically that your thought creates your life. So what you're thinking up here is what's happening in your life. So if you change what's thinking up here, it changes in your life. That's called manifestation. And again, I thought everybody knew about manifestation, but I've come across people recently that actually don't know what manifestation is. So basically what you're thinking up here is then getting manifested into reality. So after your three minutes of gratitude, the best thing you can do is three minutes of visualization. So take yourself to a place where you uh, want to be, a goal. So mine is to be, and this is an example just so you can get your head around it. Mine is to be at, a, um, at Tony Robbins' next event called Date with Destiny. Date with Destiny is a massive event down the Gold Coast. It's six days with, with Tony Robbins. And uh, obviously the tickets are a lot of money because it's very, it's a lot. It's, the one I went to had, say, 7,000 people. This one, I think, has two or 3,000. So it's a lot more intimate. And I'm so excited to go that I, every morning I visualise myself down the coast. I visualise visualize myself with Corinne, who's going to be there with me. We are on a, and I'll tell you what I'm seeing, we're on a, a unit at the Gold Coast. We're standing. I can see the beach, so I know we're at the Gold Coast. We're near the convention centre. And we're looking at each other and we're hugging and we're like, oh, my God, I can't believe we're finally here. I can't believe we're here. Oh, my God, it's Tony Robbins. It's Date with Destiny. And I get that feeling in my body every single morning. I think about that every single morning. I celebrate. I see us on the balcony. I see us hugging. I see the excitement. We're jumping. Like how amazing does that feel to be able to feel that? So I know for a fact that I will be at Date with Destiny. And I also know for a fact that um, Corinne and I will have that moment on the balcony when we're jumping and hugging and so excited that we're Tony Robbins. So that's how it works. That's your visualisation. Now, we are running out of time, but I'll quickly go to the next couple. Um, food. So I had a thought about what do I eat. Do we have any comments before I, as I'm rabbiting on? Hello, Ali. Annalise. How's your... Oh, no, I won't say what you've been doing lately. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, food. So I, to be honest, wasn't a huge believer in organic. I thought it was a little bit of a money grab on a lot of companies' behalf. They put the word organic on stuff and everyone wants to buy it. But I am now convinced that the best way to increase your vibration is to take the toxins out of your life. Start little. Don't get caught up in having to change your whole diet. Just start with the smallest of things. My good friend Jody was at Tony with us um, and she was feeling a bit down on herself. And I saw she had a bottle of Coke in her hand. And I said, you know what you need to do? First thing before you do anything else, get rid of that shit. 
It's putting bloody toxins and chemicals in your mouth every single day. She looked at me in a bit shocked. I said, no, I'm trying to shock you because I love you. That stuff is so bad for you. It's the smallest of things. So she's now taken Coke completely out of a diet because Coke is like full of, oh, it's, I don't even know what it's for. I don't want to look. I don't drink it. It's gross. Um, but anything with toxins and chemicals is going to decrease your vibration. So if you're living a life where you're eating everything out of a packet, uh, you're eating processed food, you're going to feel rubbish, like 100%. You cannot eat all that crap, rubbish food and feel good in yourself. So have a think about just slowly changing your diet, little by little by little. So I have, like the last couple of weeks, gone plant-based. I'm not saying everyone has to do that, but I have been feeling really, really good. I've been feeling really full, and most of the stuff I'm eating is organic. We get a thing called Spray Free Pharmacy come and deliver veg uh, vegetables to our place. It's amazing. So you yeah, really have a look at what you're putting in your mouth and also the water that you're drinking. Definitely don't be drinking Coke or soft drinks if you can help it. No, don't even help it. Just don't do it. And, and replace it with water. Good quality water too. Now this tap ship. Get some filtered water. Get a water filter up. A filter up. Is that a word? Get a water filter up. A water filter and really get into your proper water. It's so, so good for you. Um, last two things is acts of kindness. So on my Soul Junkies page, you'll notice I have a day called Magic Monday, pay it forward. So the best thing you can do to increase your vibration is give back to somebody. Who on here gives back regularly? See you, Karen, it's heading back to work. Uh, anyone on here give back regularly? And I'd love to know if you do give back regularly, how it makes you feel. You cannot feel shit when you're giving to somebody especially when you're giving to someone without the expectation of a return favour. That's probably one of the biggest things I do in my life is I just be nice to people. It doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be, I'm giving you $50. It can be the nicest gesture of just giving without expecting anything in return, just because you're a nice person. And that feels so good. Who believes, who agrees with me? That feels so good, just being nice and being just being a better person in this world, it has to increase your vibration. It has to. Don't have a choice. Um, so, yeah, if you're keen, and I want by the end of this, and I've got another five minutes to go, after this, I would love anyone that's still watching or anyone that watches later, hashtag replay, to put down two of these things that you have been thinking about changing and that you would like to commit on this call to what you're going to change before next week. Two things. It doesn't have to be big things. It can be big, small, in between. Um, just pick two things, whether it is water, whether it's getting up and doing some gratitude, whether it's eating better. Like, take your pick. There's a couple of you still on here. Hello, Kylie. So make sure if you're still watching this, I want you to comment below. Two things that you are going to commit to changing before next week. I'd love to hear it. Hello, Chris. Jump on, jump on. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about is, yeah, basically just toxicities in general. Um, and the same thing goes for the food. When you're eating really, really crap food, it's full of toxins, it's full of preservatives, it's full of sugar. If you can slowly by slowly just start cutting all that little stuff out of your diet, you will feel so, so much better. The other thing I've started using, and you've probably seen, this is how all this started, was the essential oils, because these little babies vibrate at a super super high level and when you add these things to your body you can't help but increase your vibration so i've cut all the tox toxins out of my of my uh not life altogether but a lot of things so for example instead of using hand sanitizer i now use this thing it's called on guard it is a uh an essential oil that helps with immune support and basically you spray it onto your hands like that and it's in replacing hand sanitizer because hand sanitizer is really really bad for you i i have the belief that hand sanitizer actually makes you sicker so yeah who's commenting what come on jody i've told him about the coke story everybody has to put two things they're about to change in their life to make their vibration increase um the beautiful thing about this i've just decided as of today that i've made it into a mouthwash so um this is how non-toxic this stuff is. Oh, yummy! <laughs> so it's got on guard, which is a bit spicy. It's got cinnamon and a few other things. I added a couple of drops of peppermint into it today. So now it's a mouth spray and it's a hand spray. 
and it's a bench spray and it's amazing. So anyone interested in essential oils, make sure you contact me. We do have a workshop coming up on the, what day? I wrote it down, 22nd of October in Oxley at 9.30 in the morning. If anyone wants to know about essential oils or if you already have essential oils and you want to know more about them, come along to that workshop um, and we'll teach you about non-toxic living. All right. Seven people online and nobody is telling me what they're going to change. I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. Come on, guys. Come on. Commit. Even if you're going to do one. I'm waiting. One thing. Come on. One thing. Are you online or you're not actually watching? Are you doing what I do and flip it on and have it on in the background? I'm on to you guys. Okay. Uh, last thing I want to do before I jump off. Um, is I want to ask you what topics you'd like to hear about next week. So we'll do a post on the Facebook page and you can let me know what sort of things you want to hear about. Uh, I like these things to be interactive, so you can let me know and then you can jump on the call, you can ask questions. Hello, Trace. You can ask questions, you can jump on and be interactive. Um, and I wanted to tell you quickly about our last thing before I go is our two events coming up. Oh, finally, someone. Jody, mine is the Coke and having one shake a day. Yes, so Jody's cut the Coke out and she is now having one smoothie, like replacing a meal, I'm guessing, with a smoothie um, a day. Kylie says LDK. What's that mean? Is that a special millennial term I don't know about? What's LDK mean? Was it a typo? LDK, does anyone know what LDK means? Uh, don't know. Laughing, don't know. No idea. Uh, our two events, so our half-day workshop, The Six Steps to Soul Success, will be on the 26th of October, which, hold on, is that next weekend? I think that is. Yes, it is. Oh, my lordy, that's come up really quickly. 26th of October, next Saturday, uh, at, I'll keep looking down because my book's down there, 10 o'clock. Uh, it's a four-hour workshop. Anybody on this call today, on this um, webinar, on here, or wherever you're looking, um, we're going to offer you half price tickets. So if you're interested to come along to our six steps to ha uh, six steps to soul success, a four hour half day workshop, we'd love to offer anyone on this webinar half price tickets. Um, yes, just write yes please, and I'll get my virtual assistant to contact you and hook you up with a half price half price ticket for you and a friend, so you don't have to come away lonesome. And the last thing is our meetup which is the 3rd of November. This is going to be epic. I have my shamanic teacher from down the coast coming down. She's going to take us through a group healing and a meditation and talk about shamanism and what shamanism is, talk about plant medicine, energy medicine. Are we going to have live music and grazing clutters? It's at the coffee shop at Forest Lake on the lake as the sun's setting. Amazing. Michelle Pollitt is moving more. Michelle, you're still helping with our grazing clutters. I don't know. Oh, it's an I. Okay, it's not KD. It's I D K. I don't know. Okay, I D K. I'll look at my assistant. She just told me what I D K is. Okay, Kylie. Well, you've you've got a few hours to think about it, and then you can jump back on and tell you everybody what you're doing. Michelle Pollitt's moving more, so maybe. Yeah. So the meetup is sorry. We've had a few now. We have about forty to fifty people. Really, really nice afternoon. Tickets are ten dollars. And I'll get, um, again, my assistant to post down the bottom the link for the meetup so you guys can jump on and get your tickets because it's not a huge venue. So the tickets will sell out pretty quickly. And because uh, we are limited for space, you need to get in and get your ticket. Don't just tell me you're going on Facebook because it doesn't count people. You've got to actually get your ticket. Okay, so my first webinar is complete. I hope you learned a little bit. Um, happy to get some... Um, some ideas for next week's webinar. So if you're interested to hear about some different stuff, just give me a message and I'll um, get online one o'clock next Friday to do another webinar so you can learn some more stuff. So thank you for listening, everybody. It's lovely for you to jump online with me. Uh, oh, there you go. Kylie's saying she's going to do some exercise and herbal teas. Yes, caffeine's another one that you should probably um, look at if you're really wanting to increase your vibration caffeine. So I'm doing decaf now. I can't actually stop my coffee because it's a, it's a bit of a, a habit, like a ritual for me, but I've gone to decaf.
it's not ideal because I know everybody's going to be yelling at me down the phone line there that decaf has still got chemicals in it, Michelle. And I know that it's still got chemicals in it, but it's, um, it's better than caffeine for my body. I can tell you that. My body reacts not particularly well to caffeine. It sends me high as a kite and wired. So, yeah, I'm cutting the caffeine out. But, yeah, the one thing at, I just want to take you guys to take is that you don't have to change everything. I didn't sit here and tell you all those things to lecture you until you go and change it all. But what I am saying is if you do want to start to feel a little bit better, is pick one or two things. It's going to make you feel better. It has to make you feel better. So, yeah, we'd love to hear from you on here what your two things are going to be. And then next week if you're online, I'm going to check in with you and see how you're going. Oakley dokley, I'm going to head off. Thank you for listening and I'll see you all at our upcoming events. Do not miss them. All right. I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, I'm still on my Soul Junkies page up here. Hang on, we've got to work out how to get off here. <laughs> there we go. All right, see you guys on anyone watching on here. I haven't seen any comments. I'm not even sure who you are. Bye. See you later.